Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another weekly warehouse update. Uh, lot of stuff going on in the warehouse. Um, first off, we still have a lot of Innova, Discraft, and MVP that's going to be hitting the site over the next week. So some of it will be just stock, restock hitting the site today by the time you're watching this. But a lot of it will be coming next week. So if there's some molds that you're missing that you're looking at our site and you wish we had in stock, then we'll probably be on the site next week. So stay tuned for that. But something that is hitting the site right now is some stock cicadas. So we had the proto or the test flight ones came in first run. Now we have stock sea line cicadas. This is a staple in my bag. I absolutely love it for hyzer flip to turn. Um, seven, six, negative one, one, unless the stock runs a lot more stable, it's a little flippier than that. Um, but actually when we threw the first run one, it was actually close to that. So you can check that out. If you wanna make sure it's a little bit flippier, we also have it in ESP. Really good run at ESP here. The cicada is a very, very comfortable disc great hyzer flip great flat to turn shot um just all around a great disc and uh yeah super excited to have these in esp and now just stock cicadas on the shelf so if you haven't tried a cicada yet and you're looking for that straight slightly understable seven speed i would check it out brand new disc from discraft all right it is getting to that time of the year where it is kind of last chance to buy christmas gifts so i'm over here in the apparel and accessory section because those make some great gifts for the holiday season starting off with the apparel We've got some of the stuff that we dropped on Black Friday. We still have some left. We've got these blue kind of mid-weight washed hoodies. These are like, Hunter's wearing it right now, actually. You just saw him wearing it. But uh, these are incredible. They're probably my favorite sweatshirt material that we've done. I really like them. Really fun design there. I've been wearing mine a ton. So we have those. Perfect gift for the winter season. We also have these dry fit long sleeves this is again one of my favorite apparel items we've ever run we ran it a long time ago brought it back because it was such a favorite and we have these right now as well and then another thing we've got going on is we've got windbreakers we have run similar windbreakers before but we ran it in this kind of foresty green color this time it's a quarter zip windbreaker very nice it's still lightweight enough that it's not going to bog you down or anything but it's good when it is windy outside to keep a little bit warmer and keep that wind from cutting through you. So great thing to have out there on the disc golf course. Um, some other things to mention, we do have a restock of our uh, MVP makes these, um, well, they sell these UV flashlights. Uh, these are really cool to get your disc glowing, get it charged up. Just got a glow disc here, show you a pretty quick example. <laughs> it, uh, it gets it going pretty quick. It is very easy to uh, charge your disc with these flashlights. So if you're playing a lot of glow rounds this time of the year, if you're getting off of work and it's already dark, Get one of these flashlights. They're not too expensive and they do a great, I mean, that is like trying to sh shine this thing under a light bulb is the worst thing ever trying to do that. You get one of these flashlights for each throw. You just do that for two seconds and you have a perfectly glowing disc and it holds its charge as well. Those things are honestly incredible. They surprise me every time. Um, some other accessories got going on over here. We still have some hats left. We do have beanies on the site right now as well. Um, perfect gift that I always like to recommend is Rip Revenge. If you have never played Rip Revenge, it is a disc golf card game. We have a few different things you can buy with Rip Revenge, but there's a couple different games. There's the original Rip, there's Ripped Showdown, and then there's also Ripped Evolution, which is our expansion card packs that we added to the game. But basically all this card game does is it allows you to kind of spice up the disc golf game a little bit. You and your friends have cards that have different um, actions on them, such as this one here would say, uh, if you're holding or allow an opponent to retry a missed putt if the new putt goes in draw two cards So just fun things like that. It makes it really fun to play disc golf And these are great stocking stuffers for this time of year We also sell a ripped revenge bundle that comes with a couple ripped decks some expansion cards and one of these fun Ripped deck holders that can clip on your bag You might think this is unnecessary, but as somebody who has now used it a bunch It's great for playing this game because it you have two pockets one for the main deck one for the discard pile, and then a front one here for your hand, so you don't have to worry about keeping cards in your pockets, getting them bent up. Just a great gift. Um, some other accessories we have on the site right now. We've got patches, always in stock. These are a great stocking stuffer as well. Throw these on your bag if you've got some Velcro on there, the Bogey Bros one, we've got some foundation one. Also have wristbands. We uh, recently redid our wristbands. They come in custom packaging now, and they also have 3D texture on the text, which is really cool. Um, we kind of up the quality on those, and they're a lot of fun. A few different colors there. Um, and then, hey, 
trying to get better at putting this winter we've got disc dots these right here clip onto basket chains i know they're just we have so many fun stocking stuffers nowadays uh these clip onto the chains on your basket and give you something to aim for um i think i need more of these than i can even fit on a basket to try and give me a target i could hit but uh yeah so if you're looking for just some smaller gifts or some apparel for the holiday season go ahead and look in our apparel and accessories section on the site all right i'm gonna highlight some disc mania old and new new being mvp simon time lapse we have a few of them on the site uh if you're pre-ordered if you pre-ordered that just got shipped out and these are the few that are left over so very few of the stock time lapse this is actually a special edition but very few of them are left on the site the, the most consistent dome i have ever seen in a run of discs it is insane literally i think they must have they must have molded the dome that's the only thing that makes sense because all every one of these discs is the exact same i've never seen a distance driver be so consistent um so very encouraging for the future disc golf there down here we have some of the you know normal disc mania going right to left we got a little eagle mcboy Ooh. stamp here um that's a fun one is this a p2 yeah s line p2 little eagle face moving over we have some Ooh. eagle stamped md1s a little eagle on the side there uh, then farther down the line, we got some eagle stamped FD3s. They're dropping a lot of eagle yeah, stuff right now. It almost looks like they're trying to get their value out it's, of eagle. It's hunt. one of two things. Either they just are about to announce a huge eagle re signing or eagle just left. <laughs> yeah. I don't know which happened, <laughs> but we've same. never gotten this much eagle stuff at once. No. So something's going on over at this <laughs> Manny HQ. D line FDs. Um, if you haven't, if you were from my era of disc golf, you know that every Discmania Pro used to have a D-Line FD as their like trick shot roller disc and it was so much fun. Let's get back to that era. Mm. Starts with you picking up one of these. And then last but not least over here, but that's not a Discmania disc, so I'm not gonna tell you about it. Uh, Trevor, <laughs> why don't you show us some of the Discraft? <laughs> All right, we're in the Discraft section over here. Got a lot of discs, so I'm gonna kind of just brush around, just, just, just palm through here and show you what we've got. So recently just had a massive uh zone restock i'll start with that it did get hit pretty hard during black friday but there's still pretty much every plastic one that we had got we still have so if you were looking to restock on zone or get somebody a zone for a gift now is the time we have them in d-line um i believe yeah these are just a normal d-line we have a couple z zones left we've got some esp zones left i will say a lot of these esp came in with a really nice puddle top which is pretty sweet if you've never thrown like a puddle top zone uh they're just like nice and overstable and have a really good feel in the hand especially on forehand we also got zone os's we got those in uh esp soft putter blend normal putter blend and z uh these also have a nice puddle top i mean just that's just terrifying like you just you hold this disc and you know where it's going it's going left these discs are a lot of fun also have Jawbreaker Zone OS's right now. These ones are just kind of board flat. That's a fun one as well. Um, and then we have a few of the, the Tour Series ones too. If you wanna support Barry Smith, you know, the Dark Horse himself, got the bottom stamp going over there. Uh, so yeah, got a bunch of zones. I, I do wanna highlight, uh, we got Z Wasp back in. This is something that we don't always have in stock, but we did get a bunch. Uh, the Z Wasp, I think is super underrated because of the buzz, but I love the Wasp. This is my favorite mid range from Discraft. I've bagged one many, a many a times because they're much more overstable than the, than the uh, Buzz, and they're gonna hold their stability considerably longer because they are a beaded mid-range. If you're a rock thrower from Innova, this is basically as close as you're gonna get, or at least if you're a rock three guy from Innova, um, because they have a similar feel in flight, and uh, I really love the wash, so check those out. We have those in stock right now. Uh, moving down the line here, move over here to the back. We do have a, quite a bit of Brody's you know, main discs in stock right now, I'm noticing. We have uh, Raptors, a ton of Z Raptors right now, a ton of variety. He loves the Raptor. He bags like a million of them. And we also have over here, we've got his, the Vulture. This is like his go-to uh, straighter fairway driver. So if you want to throw a bag similar to Brody's, um, and he, he granted, he throws these really, really far, but the Vulture is a sick disc. Um, they call it a 10 speed. Is it a 10 speed? Probably not. It's probably a nine speed, but super straight, pretty underrated fairway driver. I think a lot of this stuff in the Discraft lineup gets overshadowed because they have so many pros on certain discs, like the PM lines and Page on certain discs and this and that. Uh, but like the Vulture, nobody's name's on it, but it's a really, really good disc. Um, so yeah, some other Discraft we've got going on right now. Let's see. Uh, hey, this is a great one. Okay, here's, here's a gift idea. If you are getting a, a disc for somebody who's never played before uh, and they want a driver, the Stratus, okay? The Stratus. This thing is kind of majestic. It is called a driver, 
but it's like a five speed. It's a really old disc craft disc that every once in a while they make them. And these are an X plastic. So they're nice and affordable. They got a little give to them. And like, they're really like understable and easy and light as well. These are, this is like 133 grams. So if you're getting a disc for somebody who's like brand new to disc, disc golf and they want to try to get a little bit of distance, this is actually a great option. I've seen it firsthand work for people that don't like, don't really know how to throw a disc yet. So, uh, and it's, it's still like, it's got like some depth to it. It's not just a driver. So yeah, shout out to the X-Stratus. That's a sick disc. Uh, what else we got going over here? Let's walk over here. We got the Malta. This is another disc I wanted to highlight. Kind of similar to the Wasp. We have a bunch of the Big Z right now. I actually really like this blue run. That's like almost like a little bit see-through. Um, the Malta, I, I kind of came back to the Malta, you know? When the Malta first came out, everybody was like, I don't know. Everybody was like really in on it because it was a new PM mold. And then everybody kind of went away from it because they just weren't really sure what it did. But I really don't necessarily understand that completely. I think once you adjust your expectations, like it's not as overstable as people maybe thought it was going to be but it still is more overstable than a buzz. Like, and if you throw these and you get the good ones, um, which these big Z ones are a nice run of them, they, uh, they will go left more than a buzz. They still do glide, even though they feel a little bit weird, like they do fly pretty far as well. Um, and I like the Malta. So I think if you haven't tried the Malta, give it a try. And if you did and you didn't love it the first time, give it another try and just adjust your expectations, like clear your expectations and then throw it. Cause I actually came back to this disc and the next time I threw it, I was like, why didn't I like this disc in the first place? It, it does fly quite nicely. So yeah, Discraft right now, absolutely loaded. Like we've got pretty much every mold they make in stock right now, and there's gonna be more hitting the site in the coming weeks. So make sure to just keep an eye on that Discraft section. Now it's time to get it. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Y'all hit MVP pretty hard right in the on face. Black Friday, but hey, some stuff held up and I'm about to tell you what held up and then in the coming weeks we'll have big old restock coming. But First off, the Hex. Very few of these held up for a good reason. The Hex is an incredible disc. We bought a lot of them. I don't know what accent I just went to. It doesn't matter. The Hex flies great for everyone, every country. Uh, next, <laughs> I only got the Deflector. Super overstable. If you're looking for that, like, justice, but a little bit more to it, or you just want a faster Zone OS, check out the Deflector. I don't hear enough people talking about it. People love that crazy overstable disc nowadays, and the ones that were on the market before all the new Hype Beast ones are getting overlooked, and that's the Deflector. This thing was on the market back in the day. It's still on the market. It still just goes left, unless you're a left-handed player, then it just goes right. Either way, it just fades and gets to the ground quick, and it's exactly what everyone wants and is looking for, they just forgot the disc like this used to be made, and the deflector is one of those. Incredible. Last disc I'm gonna highlight, because we still have a bunch of other molds, like I said, on the site, or about to hit the site. We have a whole bunch that are about to hit this week. Um, but the Envy, we still have the Envy in pretty much every single plastic, incredible feeling putt and approach disc. It's one of the farthest flying putters on the market, possibly in the world. Um, the Electron Firm, if you want a little bit stiffer, we've got it in electron firm if you want a little bit stiffer we got it in plasma right here moving down the line we've got some neutron ones more plasma ones i'm just grabbing uh more plasma ones where's the new it's almost like they're sorted back here there you go fission um, <laughs> <laughs> i'm blind this one's prism that's really cool the prism ones have like a see-through uh, metallic -y looking rim very cool and the prism one's also nice and overstable so what i like to do when I was throwing Envy's is I had a Cosmic Electron, which is the same as Electron, that I'd beat up to be my Hydra Flip dead straight, and then I had a Plasma one for my nice and overstable. So if you're looking for a good one-two punch, you can just get them both with the Envy, or you can check out some of their awesome other throwing putters as well. One final thing I want to highlight that might be the best stocking stuffer of them all are minis. This is probably the best way to represent foundation out there on the course. Everyone carries a mini, you use it every throw. And if you're like, I don't really want to buy a custom stamp disc, I don't really want to use a disc dot, I don't really want to play Rift Revenge, but I still want to rep foundation, boom, mini. Everyone uses a mini, and if you're not using a mini, you should. It's the easiest way to mark your disc, and you're kind of going to need one if you're to play a PDJ tournament. Other thing I wanted to mention is we're coming up on the deadline to order print-on-demand merch and have it arrive before Christmas. That deadline is December 10th, so we've got about nine days from when you're seeing this, so... If some of your friends have, uh, you know, some of the shirts that we have on our site that are printed on demand that will take a few days to print and then ship directly to you, um, and you want to pick one of those up, make sure you get that in before December 10th. If you get it in before December 10th, we have a guarantee that it will arrive to your doorstep in the U.S., um, continental U.S., before Christmas. So, if you're interested in any of those shirts, we actually just put a Just Chillin' Out There shirt 
on the site because so many people were demanding it because apparently on the West Coast, that was the only way I knew how to describe what a hole was doing. Um, and we have a bunch of other fun shirts that are constantly being added. We're also gonna be dropping some grip lock merch in the coming year. So I don't know why I'm highlighting that now. I'm just really excited about it because I just designed it. But other than that, we'll see you again next week.